Marseille. Hey, thanks, wherever you are, for dumping your garbage out here out on our farm. That's great. Best part is, they literally drive right past the city dump to get to our place. I mean, like, no joke. They have to drive right next to the entry into the city dump. But it said they drive two miles past it out to our property and throw a bag of trash. It's blowing in the wind. Thankfully, I got it before it uh, spread across our whole field. Okay, it's time now to start wiring some of this project uh, up to an electrical supply. So we decided uh, to go ahead and get a load center with uh, uh, 220 breakers so we can use those uh, as switches, but also it can uh, protect the, the motors and the, and the lines and um, <clears throat> going out to, out to the motors. So we've decided on this place right here on this unit because right here is where you're going to adjust the fan and what we did is we got a, a three phase converter for single phase so we've got 220 single phase converting into a three phase we have a three phase motor on this fan so we can adjust the speed and uh, all we have to do is just turn it on and we can turn that knob and adjust the speed of the fan what i'm going to do is i just put this up there clamped it on uh, I'm going to bore some holes, put a bolt through, weld on the back side so the bolts stay in there, and uh, also right here. But we also have to protect this unit. This is the guts of the uh, three-phase converter. And uh, it has a fan in the bottom so it can uh, remove the heat. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box that we had here, I'm going to cut this out, I'm going to put... Uh, some uh, expanded metal, um, tight expanded metal on the bottom so that can have airflow in this. This is going to be attached to the back of this unit so it'll sit behind here. Uh, you won't even notice it there. Uh, but that way, if we need to get access to it, we can just open up that back door, pull it out for whatever reason, and uh, service or whatever, but I don't expect to do that. Some might find this revolting, I don't. Um, I'm amply able to do this, and so and I get a charge out of it. Hope you guys do too. Let's get busy. Okay, I've got the box all together, uh, but as you can see, uh, it's three places here that the box is connected to the, the cleaner, but this whole diagonal corner of it isn't really fastened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a gusset right here. I'm gonna weld this part onto this and then I have screws in case we ever want to take this off. We'll just pop the screws off and we can take it off So all right, let me get the welder and we'll get this glued Okay Yep, that really strengthened it up so or tightened it so very little flexing um, so that'll That'll work for that. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I've got the main cable. I'm going to bring it up here. And I'm going to start adding some of the wires that go to the, the different uh, motors. And uh, so I'm going to get the cable. I'll figure out which way I want to run it. The cable end will be on that side because that's kind of where we drive next to something with power. Um, and then we can wrap it around that side and it's not anywhere here where we're doing a lot of the work. So, okay, let me decide. If you guys want to comment to where you think it should be, um, yeah, go ahead and comment. 
in a timely fashion. Okay, all right, now we're back to the electrifying part of this uh, video. And uh, what I have going on here is we have this, uh, it's a, really an RV cord, about 50 amp for the old motor, uh, mobile homes. They used to use that and plug it into a receptacle. And this is one we had for a while. This is the one we had on piece separator, the two screen shaker. Uh, this is not heavy enough to run those many motors that we're running. And so I'm upgrading this. Um, I had uh, the old plug-in that went on that cord. And as you can see, the it was uh, corroded in here. There's two types of metal on this. Uh, this is kind of a brass with a, a steel. Um, and that electrolysis happens in here and I probably put it together but I didn't put any electrolysis type of uh, anti uh, oxidizing and uh, that's what that's for and so I'm redoing it I got a new one welding plug is what we use because that way we can plug it into our outlets for the welders so I'm working with really heavy wire here it barely fits into the the, these uh, pigtails and uh, but I'm making it work and then I'll put it together and, and uh, clamp it on here and I'll have this end and the other end will be uh, fastened on there so anyway let me finish up the next one and get it ready to be plugged in Okay, I have the main plug-in wire, the uh, main service wire that will run this whole machine. Got the plug done on the other side. I've got it wired into the box panel. And then I uh, will need to now run uh, 220 from a breaker over through this into a back box right back there that has the uh, three-phase converter in it and so i'll power that with 220 off from this and that will um, change it in from single phase to three phase anyway i'm going to get this box uh, wired we're at least going to get the fan going so that we might run some product in here just to kind of see where we're going to start the gate uh, that will uh, direct where we catch the flow of desirable product the rest of it will go out and then into the clean up um, cleaning bin so. okay let me go get some wire to run this Made a trip down the road, picked up the last few parts we need, I think, to finish this. Another six inch West Steel AGI auger. And that one is gonna replace the one that we salvaged right here. So those leg arms can finish the work over there. It's just kind of short on augers these days, so we had to go to different places to get them, but this one finally came in, we got it. And this was another seven or five inch that a friend of ours from that guy's fab shop used to use to farm with. And um, he sold to us pretty cheap, so we might use that for the screenings as well. So we're um, getting close, but we're gonna clean up a little bit around here. And then um, Leg Arms has just about got this fabbed up enough where we can start turning the fan on and uh, run some piece through it again like we did before. But now we have a bigger fan, everything's changed. So we gotta kind of figure out now where's everything gonna flow so then we can figure out where we're gonna put the, we keep saying baffle, I don't know, divider in there 
to separate the peas from the splits, the oats, the chaff. Yeah, I think we're ready to part from some peas first thing. So we're taking the buckets of the already highly shelled and cracked peas that we keep messing with. We'll dump it through there and kick the fan on and just start playing with some settings. It's gonna make a mess, but that's all I wanted to know. And then we'll know where to start fabricating the inside of the shell. First bucket's in. Okay, I'll turn it on. This is a 45. Okay, I've got the fan wired in. We've been running it, uh, trying out product. And uh, also <clears throat> I have this auger, the cleaning, uh, clean out auger from the scalper and then also the screen, air screen. Uh, that unit is now energized and runs. I have the transfer auger from the screening, air screen into the the scalper um, and in, and that m motor uh, we got to put on but i got to run a wiring so i've got to hook it to a breaker i'm gonna because it goes right across underneath you know, the back side and then runs up the length i'm gonna actually cut a hole here and have uh, the wire instead of running down and around and up and over it'll shorten it don't need to be that long and so i'm gonna go ahead and drill this hole i'll run the conduit in and feed the lines in and get it ready for the motor up above there uh, we also have this one here sitting on the ground right there that will re uh, engineer might change a little bit of where it's located here maybe a little higher because this unit is a little bit higher so I'll need to run power to that and then the last one is this five inch which I'll need to run power when we get this established right here uh, to catch the cleanings and then dump it into the cleaning bin, uh, cart, or truck. Hey, Kobe, welcome. Yeah. Yeah, what have you been doing today? Huh? Yeah, have you been seeing, checking the farm to see if it's been overloaded with rabbits? I can see clearly now. Okay, since we're dealing with uh, peas, which is a legume, similar to soybeans, uh, if you handle them too aggressively, they split. We don't want them to split because we're uh, doing this whole process for cleaning seed. So what we were doing was we were gonna retrofit our six inch augers that comes from the truck into the cleaner unit with nylon flighting. And this nylon is actually cupped so it helps throw the peas forward instead of grinding them between the flighting and the shell. So that helps move the, the peas forward gently. <clears throat> so what we're doing is we're gonna do that one, the transfer auger into the cleaner, then also the transfer into the other part of the cleaner. So we're gonna uh, re retrofit them with the nylon and we should be gentle. Truck's not loud enough.
We were getting so much accomplished and then this guy right here happened to just randomly stop in and then the accomplishment and efficiency of this shop has increased like 55%. I forgot to, to put not, a, I to forgot not. to put a little negative sign in the very front of that fifty five percent. No, we've just been sitting around eating jerky and talking. Yeah, good jerky, by the way. He brought some really uh, tasty elk. That's all that's in it, right? There well, wasn't well pork, probably a little bit of pork in there. Pilgrim's it was fat, very tasty. If you guys, by the way, have not seen his channel, he's he, you know can Welker Farms him. Uh, we're I mean, it, he's he's good. That's all I have to say. We're like, I mean, basically Montana twins. Not twins. Montana. We're like Montana cousins. <laughs> Montana cousins. <laughs> Except for he lives in Glasgow. We live in Shelby. It's like five hours away. We're twins. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, he's awesome. He does a lot of cool things himself, just like us. Very self-efficient. Fabricate stuff. Welding things. We're stretching a sprayer tank in the shop right now. Which is pretty sweet, and it's stainless <laughs> steel that they're going to weld, so he's got that on me, because I have never welded stainless steel. Nick doesn't know it, but you're coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> Tony left his truck running. Oh, here we go. This is nice. Oh, I could roll like this. with you he'll clean your shop yeah that's better yet it's actually cleaner than it's been in a while right now so it'd be pretty easy work for him well speaking of cleaner if you haven't noticed over here on this wall my dad's got the scissor lift and he's literally cleaning that's the what's ceiling going on over there. and he's literally cleaning the door and i asked him i was like y you you realize you started this and he looked at me and he's like yep and that means i'm gonna have to finish it i'm like Oh yeah. You need some spray fall and a truck brush. Spray truck. <laughs> little squeegee. Pressure washer. Anyways, he asked to do it, or he, he wanted to do it, so I was like, I'm not gonna stop him. But there's a lot more that needs to be done too, so. It's amazing how bad smoke sticks to tin. It's just nasty, nasty stuff. But you know what's really cool? What? We got a 100 foot air drill coming. Rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I'm gonna let this guy get back on the road because he's got a trip to go all the way back with his nice, beautiful semi that he's got a big full load of oats. And how many oat boats are on that truck? All of them. All of them. He's taken all I of have, them. I have no idea. Oats are light compared to wheat, so. They're, yeah, it's not, I mean, I actually kind of stole some of his. We're gonna use that to kind of run through this thing to make sure it runs well, but. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go because you're probably itching to get on the road. Oh boy, here's Tony. Just in there talking about your seat cleaner and my truck drives off. I could help it. <laughs> this thing's got some turbo wine to it. Yeah, it does. Sounds good. Except for, um, I think I need about four more vertebrae. Yeah. I feel like I'm sitting below your dash. Well, there we go. <laughs> I, I was like, half an inch. I was like, man, <laughs> I can't even reach the pedals. That's fun. You know, we're about seven hours apart, six hours apart. Doesn't very, very often we get to go by each other's places. So when he has a chance to drive by here, I'm glad he stops in. Where were we? Look at that thing. Keep doing it.